Hello everyone, this is Yoti1 and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you everything about Windows 11 Flyby 11 which, uh, which is a tool that allows you to uh, upgrade to Windows 11 even if you don't have TPM2 the requirement to upgrade to Windows 11 so first thing you want to do is to go to Google and uh, search for Flyby 11 and then yeah, click the first link and uh, here you want to go to the releases uh, tab and uh, it say here in green lattice you just click on this one and and here uh, you, you can read if you want but uh, what we want to do is to go to assets and click flybyscripts.zip and this will make you uh, download the flybyscripts.zip on your computer anyways I already have it and uh, now before we uh, jump into this uh, this guy here I want you to also go to Google again and search for Rufus Lattice version and you just click here this is a USB tool to make your USB bootable so uh, feel free to use anything else but uh, yeah so before I tell you about uh, the other thing about this want you also to go to Google again and search for Windows 11 creation tool and then I click download Windows 11 and this will give you the ISO file which will allow you to uh, download the Windows 11 now you have the ISO file right so you just go to your Rufus after you download it and uh, make sure it say UEFI because anything else will not work also make sure your uh, USB have at least 16 gigs because I think Windows 11 uh, installer takes 9 gigs so yeah the, to avoid any problem you should have the 16 gigs USB and now now you have all, all of this if your PC is too much old there is something that will not allow you to do to not uh, be able to uh, use this tool anyways so I want you to go to Google again and type CPU Z and then click the first version here to take you to this page and then you just click set up the English version uh, it's a 64 bit or 32 bit it depends on your computer and then after you do that uh, it's going to give you this uh, CPU Z 2.11.en uh, dash en and then when once you run it and it's installed CPU C, it should give you something like this. Now, uh, this is the information of your CPU, which is pretty useful. So uh, it's good to keep CPU Z around in your computer. And uh, here you want to go to instructions and search for this thing called SSE 4.2. If you have that, congratulations. That means you can bypass the and use this tool called uh, flyby11 if not that means you can't yeah you can because this instruction is always needed and i don't think windows 11 can run without it and uh, that's pretty much it now let's check how did this flyby11 works for example and uh, honestly before we do that i want to tell you i don't intend to do it on my pc right now uh, I don't really want to upgrade to Windows 11 right now maybe next year because uh, now I see that I have SSE 4.2 I have a light of hope in next year 2025 when uh, Windows 11 uh, I mean Windows 10 dies then maybe I will consider switching to Windows 11 anyways uh, once you open that flyby script.zip you just click on this one fly by 11 dot executable and uh, here uh, it may tell you that uh, your PC at risk or something because it's script it doesn't matter really uh, it's really safe and uh, everyone knows that and uh, run anyway just click here and uh, sometimes it gives you this error I'm not sure uh, what but uh, we we'll just click continue. Anyways, the, the what you have to do if you 
made it this far is mount the ASO file ASO file into your uh, the the one that like you installed Windows 11 then once you do that it's going to give you a few options and uh, let me show you because it doesn't show it here so here are the options so you want to select the method one like you don't want to select both or wait you can select method two directly because uh, it's a it's a reference here and that's pretty much it and uh, also fedo this uh, i think you should also check this one too fedo but on this one you don't really need it because you already have the windows 11 installer and uh, that's pretty much it and then you click start after you finish all of that and then you take the iso again and uh, use the reference again and put it into your usb anyways if you really need any help and struggle with doing all of these then uh, let me know in the comment section and uh, that's pretty much it thank you for watching